In this video, we're gonna go over how to travel to a new country for the first time by yourself. So if you've ever gone on a trip and you've been traveling with people, say for a week or two weeks or three weeks, um, it's great because you learn how to communicate more. You learn how to you know, make different decisions on say, say you have multiple leaders and multiple followers in the group. People learn how to stand up for themselves or people learn how to follow. And you guys kind of go and see things together. You do things together. Uh, it's great because you grow as a group. And you guys you know build bonds you build connections you get into arguments and you grow stronger through that it's a phenomenal way to grow closer to your your friends and family but after two to three weeks maybe a month or two of traveling with these people some people like to continue doing that and some people like traveling by themselves so sometimes so sometimes it's nice to step away and be able to travel on your own go see things by yourself you can be more relaxed when you want to hang out with people you can go to your hostel and meet people there you can go to a bar you can do couch surfing meetups so you're not going to be lonely um, you don't have to worry about that and maybe you're more independent maybe you're more of a um, you're not as you know social and you kind of like doing your own thing so that's totally cool and, it, and when you're traveling by yourself you can take your time if you want to sit somewhere in a park and just relax and think you don't want to talk for two hours just think about life and think about the trip and you know just zone out you totally can you don't have to worry about having to make sure that someone else is having a good time you don't have to make sure that you're thinking of others you, know, you can you can kind of be a little bit selfish I mean I'm not I'm not promoting being selfish but it is good to look out for yourself so that way you can look out for others you know same when it comes to finances if you're trying to you know, I'll make another video about that later on, but um, it's kind of just, it's good to just, just do your own thing sometimes. And so traveling by yourself for the first time can be really scary, but it can be really, really freeing. You, you might find out that you really enjoy traveling by yourself and you really enjoy just kind of like wandering from one place to the next, not having to commit to plans and just doing anything and whatever you want to do. And sometimes you might want to, you know, have more of, if you're more of a square person and you like the, the, the list of things and people you travel with are very, you know, free spirited. Oh, let's just do this and that. And you're just like, no, I want to do just this, or I want to do just that. I want to stay towards, I want to make sure I see all these sites. And maybe that's the way you like to travel. And if you're traveling by yourself, you can travel however you want to travel. You can do whatever you want to do. It's really uh, freeing at times. It can be lonely, but if you know where and how to go about meeting new people, you know, if, if you're lonely one day, you can go hang out with a bunch of strangers, a bunch of fellow travelers, and just have a really good time and just relax and be be however you know whoever you want to be at that moment and just you know enjoy the trip this has been a few things on you know how to travel and the great great pros and cons to traveling with people and by yourself hope you guys like this video if you did please like and if you have any comments just comment below if you want to see more videos about traveling and travel vlogs just subscribe and hit that bell icon and every time i post a video which is three times a week you'll be notified of my videos all right guys take care peace out have a great day